Hello guys, in this short and a bit philosophical video, I want to share some criticism about Laravel diversity of methods and helpers and kind of give you an advice to be careful with syntax sugar, so to speak. So recently I saw a tweet by Muhammad who is suggesting that it's better to use a pretty new feature of where belongs to with a model instead of where field and value. And I kind of disagree. Over the years of working with Laravel, there were so many new helpers introduced, some new function or new helper to kind of shorten the code, but at the same time making it a bit more confusing to people, newcomers, especially developers outside of Laravel community who don't know where that where belongs to comes from and how does it work. So this is readable for pretty much anyone from any programming language background. This is Laravel specific. So what is the customer inside and how does it work? And I retweeted that tweet with a bit more extreme example. So did you know, not sure if you know, that you can do even this where state is completed. So instead of doing where field value, you can do Laravel magic and have this as part of the function, which is cool. And you can brag about it on Twitter that you knew this helper, this feature of Laravel. But that's exactly my advice when writing code. Don't try to be cool. Don't try to impress colleagues with using the next new helper or new functionality, because usually it takes time before the function actually is widely adopted, documented, tested with various scenarios, and then the community kind of has the conclusion of whether it's actually useful or sometimes harmful. So this is one example. Another example is a helper called tab. So this is the code I found in Laravel JetStream, or in fact, it's in Fortify. So tab returns the object and you can add another function with that object, basically making it a chain of kind of one sentence instead of doing it separately, which also feels cool, a bit shorter, right? But I've posted on Twitter and asked my audience about two ways to do the same thing with tab in one sentence or separately creating a user and manually launching whatever you want to do with that user. So option A or option B, what do you think were the results? Without any context, I just asked people, what is your preference? And this wasn't a poll because Twitter doesn't allow images with polls, but Jesse created a poll and with 600 votes, overwhelmingly people were for team B, which is good old sentences separately like this. So this is another example, more readable code, more unsexy code, more standard code should be usually the preferred way. And over the years, Laravel released so many, as I said, helpers and new syntax sugar to make something a bit shorter. And one of the examples I thought about is controller routing. So over the years, we had route get, route post, and route resource. Pretty much that's it. But then at some point, someone thought to add route singleton. Not sure if you even knew about it. So it's a shorter syntax to do just these routes. Also, did you know there's route controller, which is almost the same as resource, just not with resource methods. So if you have a few methods in your controller, but those are not like index show, store, and stuff like that, you can use route controller. So now we have more options to do the same thing, which is kind of great. But then again, people unfamiliar with Laravel that much often ask, so which one do we pick? Or if they see that code somewhere in someone else's code, they go like, wait, how does that work? We're not that familiar with that syntax. So my overall idea and message to you is this. The more rarely used code you actually write, the more potentially it's harmful for others to understand and read that code. Typically, usually, if you want the code to survive for many years, the code should be unsexy, uncool, as stable as possible without too much improvisation of using the next new sexy helpers. Same goes with packages or architectural decisions, like for example, choosing Livewire Vault, which is good as a tool, but it's not that popular. So someone else taking over the project in the future would need to know Livewire, Vault, and how does that work instead of using the classical Laravel structure. Do you agree with my kind of philosophical thought? And do you have maybe other examples of 
helpers or structures that you found in the code and were like WTF, what that helper even does. And you had to Google and go to the docs to understand someone else's code because they were trying to be cool and sexy and use something new. Share your stories in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.